Welcome to our video series, Taking Control of Your Child's Diabetes. My name is Lisette. If your child is diagnosed with diabetes, you may have questions about exercising and nutrition. Exercise is important for everyone, whether you have diabetes or not. It helps keep blood sugar levels in a good range. It is recommended to exercise 30 to 60 minutes daily. Exercise makes our bodies more sensitive to insulin, which means it has a greater effect on lowering blood sugar. When your child exercises, his or her body takes glucose at an increased rate from the blood in order to provide the muscles with energy. A snack may be necessary before exercising in order to avoid low blood sugars. Here are some tips to help avoid a low blood sugar when exercising. Check your blood sugar before you exercise. Try to plan activities after a meal or snack. Try to plan activities around the same time each day. Add an additional snack if your child's blood sugar is within goal range before exercising. A simple rule is to add a snack of 15 grams of carbs for every 30 minutes of exercise. Use sports drinks during hard exercise. Check blood sugar more frequently during and up to 24 hours after because your child's blood sugar may decrease after exercise as his or her body is replacing lost glucose used during exercise. Drink extra water to prevent dehydration. Avoid giving insulin in the body part being used like the legs before or after a soccer game. Your child should not exercise if he or she has ketones in the urine. Now let's talk about your child's nutrition. Nutrition is extremely important for everybody, but especially for a person with diabetes. A balanced diet provides the necessary nutrients to help the body and brain work properly. It also provides energy. If your child has been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, he or she will need to be on a carbohydrate counting diet, also known as carb counting. The diet is simply what the name indicates, counting carbohydrates by following a healthy diet. So what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are one of the three main food groups. Carbohydrates turn into sugar. So why is counting carbohydrates important for your child? Carb counting helps with good blood sugar control. It helps keep track of the amount of carbohydrates that your child is eating at meals and snack times. It also allows you to determine the amount of insulin to give with meals and snacks. The first step in carbohydrate counting is learning what foods contain carbohydrates. Starchy foods such as breads have carbs. Also starchy vegetables, some beans, fruits, dairy, and of course sweets. It may seem that most foods have carbs, but there is plenty of food that does not have carbs. Those foods are protein, fats, non-starchy vegetables, artificial sweeteners, diet drinks, and water. Don't worry, your registered dietitian will educate you on how to carb count. This education is based on the American Diabetes Association and Academy of Nutrition and Diabetes Exchange List for Diabetes. How many grams of carbohydrates does your child need? Your registered dietitian will determine the amount of carbohydrates your child needs. Since every person is unique, the amount of carbohydrates is based on gender, age, and physical activity. Your dietitian will provide you with an amount of meals and snacks. You will also be able to give carbohydrate-free snacks that do not require insulin. Remember, your child needs carbohydrates for his or her body to work well and stay healthy. Now you know more about exercise and nutrition. This is the last video of our series. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact your diabetes team. Remember, we are here for you and your child and to support you. Thank you for being an active member of your child's diabetes team.